Hey, morning guys. Morning. Um, it's Sunday the 12th of June. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and we're, we're on our way. We're kind of just trying it. Most of the boot fairs have been cancelled because of the weather forecast. Because it's going to rain later. But it's actually quite nice at the moment. We, so. Yeah, we've got a small one that we think is going to be on. This is like the backup though, isn't it? This is the backup, yeah. <laughs> this is like the backup. This is when everything yeah. else is cancelled, this one will be on. Yeah, because it's hard standing, um, but often you can get there and there's like not a lot there at all, is there? Yeah, there's like, yeah that can happen. You can turn up and there's just one line or something lame like that. And, and the problem is it's still a good 30, 40 minute drive. Yeah, so, it is. So it's, um, it's a bit of a gamble, but um, it's, you know, it's you don't know until you've gone really, do you? So. I think that's the that's the way to look at it is sometimes there'll be three or four cars, sometimes there's gonna be more car park load. So exactly. It just depends. Yeah, yeah, unless you go there you don't know. Unless you try you don't know. Okay guys, um it's now about an hour or two later. Um and isn't it? We spent like an hour there at least, didn't we? An hour, like an hour and hour forty. And something, yeah, yeah, hour and forty. Okay, we somehow we managed to spend an hour and forty um, at this boot fair. There were seven cars. No, the that guy actually reckoned, opened up. Yeah, I mean, well, in the end, there, there was more, more about but... ten or fifteen or something like that. But yeah, we we <laughs> it rained for the first thirty or forty minutes, didn't it? Yeah. And only, um, only yeah. two cars open their boots. Because as soon as you open look. the boot, the guy is round there like a whippet, isn't yeah. he? <laughs> Coming to collect he's, his fee. <laughs> yeah, he's there, he's there, he's not messing. He's like, so as soon as, so the sellers had a bit of a dilemma, didn't they? Yeah. So they were like, do we, because it was raining literally for about half hour. Um, and, it, and it was heavy, then it was light, then it was heavy. Um, and they had to make a decision because mm. as soon as they open the boot, he's there. He is. He's it there. He's really like quick, collecting actually. his cash, isn't he? He's like he's um, which is you know it's completely right. That's it's his, it's his boot fare, and that's the pitch fee. Um, so at first there was only three cars, I think, was it? Uh, I don't yeah, know. It, about, it started off yeah. two, and then another three, woman yeah. decided actually I'm going to take open one up. out. And these people's <clears throat> things were getting soaked, and and one poor guy he turned up. Like with um, a, a fold away pasting table, didn't mm -hmm. he? And a rucksack and, and, a, a, and a suitcase. And this poor guy, literally, obviously, he must live local. And um, you know, he set up and he was trying to sell his stuff. Um, I mean, he had like a little like Ninja Turtles van thing and mm. some figures, but he wanted like a tenner for that, yeah. which probably good, wasn't bad because he, he had some figures. figures. He had yeah. he did have some good figures, but like I thought, ah, nah, screw you, mate, because um, he just didn't want to pay pay that for it. But he didn't stay for it. Yeah, he didn't stay for it because his stuff got soaked, and I think he just didn't want to be out in the rain, um, which is understandable. Um, so he left pretty sharpish um, and then there were, like, there were only like three cars left and they were just trying to sell out their boots one of the cars was just selling plants um, so that didn't it obviously interest us so overall I mean we kind of had a feeling it would be pretty naff oh shit oh, oh. Um, yeah we had a feeling it was going to be pretty naff and we got soaked absolutely drenched my yes. feet are wet um, clothes just soaked, ev yeah, yeah, everything was soaked. Um, so it's not how, and the thing is, we laughed, don't we? Because we're like, yeah. you know, what else would you rather be doing well, on a Sunday we, we morning? Still, we still come away with a few bits. Well, it may not be like, yeah, I mean, that's the loads, thing, yeah, we, we we've got a, a micro bits. haul out of it, didn't yeah. we? We got a micro haul. I mean, we'll go through what we got, but it's not really. Today is not really about how much stuff we got because it was never going to be a, no. a huge amount, was it? Like not when with the, all the others yeah, being cancelled. With the, all the others cancelled, the weather forecast being terrible. <laughs> it was one of those rare occasions where there weren't many sellers, as you'd mm -hmm. expect, but there weren't any buyers either. No. So, um, you know, it's it, it was one of those... Um, 
you know, because because the weather forecast's been absolutely like horrific, and um, still overall, I think it worked out okay. We've got a nice coffee and I, I have to, to say, eat. there was one very clever seller who came along with a box of umbrellas. <laughs> yeah. But, but she was them. vlogging them for a quid. A quid she yeah, she should have been more. asked to give yeah. them more, considering how heavy it was. It was soaking heavy, it at was the raining. time as well. Yeah, she, <laughs> she should have been asking for more. Yeah, she was generous. I think. <laughs> yes, <laughs> maybe she felt sorry for everyone. Maybe, that maybe, but she could have just eaten. She could have at least doubled it and asked exactly. for two quid or something. Exactly. Yeah, two quid would be better. But people still would have paid it. People were queuing up to buy those, weren't they? They um, were. They were. Well, the few people that were there, but yeah, so not not. Um, one of those buffets that's gonna that's gonna take oh, our business. Uh, yeah, yeah, gone. Yeah, hold on. No, no, leave it alone. Don't fiddle with the knobs. Um, <laughs> listen, uh, okay. <laughs> We're just trying to do miss the screen. Yeah. <laughs> just in case you just, wonder what that comment was about. Yeah. Um, it's um, it's not gonna be one of those biz- one of those boot fairs that's gonna take our business to the next level. It, you know, it's certainly it's not gonna set the world on fire, but I'm still happy that we went out. Partly because we just love going out on yeah, a Sunday morning. It's just so I, it just, yeah, up, I, I yeah, yeah, I'd rather. I love getting up this time of day. It's exactly, it, it's fresh air. Even when it's raining, it's fresh. It's it's nice. It's just like, we just enjoy it. I think, we and, do. The, and that's the key. And I think the other thing that you can um, take away from it all is that it shows that you've got to be. You know, you've got to persevere. You can change lanes, mate. That would have been smarter. Yeah, I'm, I mean, like, you, you've got to persevere, haven't you? Because even when you go to a, a big sunny boot fair or like where where there's loads of cars, you can sometimes get down if you feel that you're one step behind. So, for example, you know, you, you, we've all had that feeling when you're at a boot fair and you're, you 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 just see the same guy in front of you picking up like all the stuff that you want to pick up or whatever and. You know, that can happen and it gets people down, but it shouldn't. And I think it's just all about the thrill of the hunt, staying positive. And you'll, I mean, looking at this boot fair, you'd have thought you'd come away with absolutely nothing. Mm. And we still come away with something, you know, it, it, to make it worthwhile, you know, more than cover the, the petrol and the food and yeah. whatever and, and make us a little bit of money. So it's not been, you know, it's not bad, but in that no. stretch. Um, of the imagination, but you know, hopefully we will get better weather next week. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Yeah. So um, we will catch you when we get home, then, guys. See you later. Okay, guys, we're back home. Um, yes. We're still soaked. Yes. After this, it's pajama time. I think <laughs> for the rest of the day, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah, because we've gone and done our food shopping already. Yeah, we've done our food so. shopping, which is really good. So you, you're going to do the dinner today, aren't yeah. you? So yeah. I've been cooking all week. So um, yeah. your oh, turn. Poor yeah. So, uh, so, <laughs> so we we just want to quickly run through the micro haul, and it is a micro haul. But bear in mind, it was rank mm-hmm. weather. It's actually raining right it's now. Raining. Yeah, we didn't pick up much, but for what we spent. Yeah. Can't go wrong, right? Like, we'll just leave it in <laughs> as an <laughs> Easter egg. <laughs> I just followed you when I looked at you. I just got lost. Okay. Alright. Okay. Guys, um, <laughs> I'm re- <laughs> She's laughing because you guys might have spotted in the previous segment, I'll probably have mustard on the side of my face from our breakfast this morning. <laughs> um, so, anyway, <laughs> now that you've laughed, can you go through our micro haul, please? <laughs> See, this is what we picked up today, and it may not look look like much, but it's because it's not. <laughs> it's because it's not much. But it will still make us money. It will still make us some money, and it was still fun to go out. Yeah. So yeah, the first look was these um, VHS tapes. The TDK is it 180? Yeah, 180 minute. Um. Now they were the guy was asking 10p for um each of those, so we paid 30p for for that. We've had a look. Um, for a bundle of three, we'll probably get about seven pound back on those. Okay, the same guy. Um, the here picked this up for a pound, and you can bring it up a, to the camera, huh? Yeah, sorry. It's a Ferrari little car model. It's hard to see in there, actually. Yeah, yeah. Maybe okay. bring it next to the light or something. <coughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So the here paid a pound for this. 
Um, we've had a look, a quick look, and we think we're going to get about £15 plus posted on that. Okay, same guy also had an iPod. So all those three items were just from one store. Um, the iPod, it is actually 40, it needs a replacement battery, but... It says it, yeah, it <coughs> says it works, but only when yeah. it's plugged in, doesn't it? So, yeah, yeah, so what we're going to do is, because um, Zaheer's able to, to change the batteries, we will order a battery, get it changed, and we're hoping to get about £40 for that. Yeah, or if we s decide to sell it as is as well, I've just checked the prices, you're still looking at 20 odd quid, about 15 plus shipping, some people have got 20 plus shipping, yeah. so we could just sell it as is. And, That's not bad. Yeah. yeah. Um, now, the, then we've got like the um, Star Trek phasers. Now these were, we bought this from the same store, but unfortunately the back's missing on one of them. Yeah. Okay, now we have tested them. Um, yeah, they both work. They both work. One is from 1992 and one is 1996. Now what we're probably going to do with these is bundle these together. Now this one, um, if it was had the back, probably goes for about 20, 20 on its own. Yeah. Um, so we're probably going to look at chucking them both in together and bundling at about 30. 25 to 30? Yeah. <coughs> 25 to 30. Yeah. We're well, not bad considering we paid, we paid 50p each for mm. those, so pound yeah. total. Yeah. And then um, the last one was this bag, um, which I picked up. Actually, this one we we went back to the guy's school, uh, store that we got the model and the iPhone. Yeah. So actually, yeah, four of those so five things actually, have come oh, from one store. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's just that we didn't pick them all up together. No, we just went back each time. And, yeah. yeah. It was really really small, and yeah. bringing stuff out slowly and. and it was like yeah, it was horrible, wasn't um, it? Yeah. So this is a Roxy um, little handbag. It's actually in pretty good condition inside. Very clean looking. Um, I paid two pound for that. And we're probably going to get ten pound back plus postage. So that's what you're hoping yeah, for. Yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Yeah, yeah. not but, bad, not bad. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that, okay, so that was our little haul. Yeah. Very little. Very little, but, but it will you know. do. It's something. I mean, like if we can get like like I said, even twenty quid for the dodgy iPod, mm. twenty quid for the phasers. That's forty quid there, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I can get fifteen quid for the little car. That's fifty five quid yeah. in sales. Plus the tapes, you know, but I mean, that's being conservative yeah, as well. We which, could probably get more for the iPod and the Which, phases, when you but, think about it, isn't yeah. bad for, for like a, a little morning fun morning work. out. Yeah, yeah, a little fun morning out. And we went well. at the boots out longer than an, about well, an hour. And we were now at 40, but most of that was just waiting in the rain. Yeah. <laughs> e eating. And and eating. Yeah, spending our profits. <laughs> so it w probably wasn't a very productive day, but it was fun. Yeah. It was fun, yeah. It's good, yeah. it's fine. Yeah. Okay. Is it 10.30 in the morning when back yeah. home? Yeah, you know? pyjama time. Pyjama time, yeah. Alright. Okay, guys. Anyway, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't, give it a thumbs down. Leave comments um, and all that stuff. So, thank you for watching. See you later. Thank you.